Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's. Today's Mass celebrates the most holy body and blood of Christ, and our celebrant this morning will be Father Bert. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones and any electronic devices during the Mass, and please stand and join us in our opening hymn, number 310, Table of Plenty, number 310. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Today's Mass intention is for the parishioners of St. Mary's. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only God the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you are the Holy One. You are the Lord. You are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, in his wonderful sacrament, have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine, and being a priest of God most high, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God most high, the creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who delivered your foes into your hand, then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. You are a priest. 
Christ forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies a footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor before the day star like the dew I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread and, after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. We will now do the shorter form of the sequence. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing, Paschal lamb its lifeblood spilling, manna to the fathers sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us, Jesu of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us, your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints, though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have. Unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people, now the men there numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made all, of the, and made all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Has anyone here this morning received their first, commu first communion in April? No? Yes? Were you excited that day? Yes. I want everyone here to think about their first communion, communion no matter how long ago it was. If, it were, if we only could bring back that excitement and anticipation each time we come to receive the Eucharist, which is the source and summit of Christian life. Today we celebrate Corpus Christi, also known as the most holy body and blood of Christ. This feast honors Jesus Christ, that is really, truly, and substantially present under the appearances of bread and wine. This presence happens through the change which the church calls transubstantiation when at the consecration of the Mass, the priest says the words which Christ himself pronounced over bread and wine, this is my body, this is the chalice of my blood, and do this in remembrance of me. Scripture gives us precursors of the Eucharist, first offered at the Last Supper. First, the Old Testament reading in Genesis mentions the existence of a mysterious man, Melchizedek. He was king of Salem, which is now Jerusalem, who was also a high priest in that district. The Hebrew translation for Melchizedek is righteousness, and the translation for Salem is peace. So the righteous king of peace brought out bread and wine to bless Abram, following a battle victory to rescue his nephew Lot. This was the first time the word priest is mentioned in the scripture as well. The function of a priest is to perform sacrifices to reconcile divinity with humanity. In Luke's gospel, he recounts the feeding of the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. This account is similar to a Eucharistic celebration. The loaves of bread and fish that they prepared was so abundant that there were 12 buckets of food left over. This was a miracle, just as transubstantiation of the bread into the body of Christ and blood into the, and wine into the blood of Christ is also a miracle, which happens at each Mass. The overabundance of food is like the Eucharist, which has always been available since the Last Supper. It never runs out. It satisfies our hunger for God. In that gospel account, this miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fish took place in a deserted place. Have we ever felt we were alone or deserted? 
When we come to Mass, we are not alone. Jesus, the High Priest, is present to us in a unique way. We are brought to the moment of Christ's supreme sacrifice of himself. He's not crucified at each Mass because Christ's sacrifice of his body and blood was perfect and needed to happen only once. It's not like there were multiple animal sacrifices in atonement for sin, as was required by the Jewish practice we hear in Old Testament readings. Today, we're aware about those who don't believe in the real presence of the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus in the Eucharist. The infamous 2019 Pew Research study looked at this belief for U.S. Catholics. It found that seven out of 10 U.S. Catholics believe that the bread and wine distributed at communion are only symbols. Perhaps some of these 70% are just ignorant of the teaching because of bad catechesis, but some are aware of the church's teaching and still choose not to believe it. What can we do? We can be witnesses to the faith by the way we live our lives. The bishops of the United States have called for a three-year Eucharistic revival, which begins today. We can invite others to Mass with us or to Eucharistic adoration when it's held. And God knows that some need some supernatural assistance in helping to believe the truth of our faith. For them, God has provided Eucharistic miracles throughout the centuries. Blessed Carlos Acutis documented many of them on the internet. You may want to search the internet if that topic intrigues you. Inviting people to Eucharistic adoration or researching Eucharistic miracles helps others to believe, and this is our, our examples of faith in action. St. Teresa of Calcutta summarized the, this progression of faith to action. She said, if we pray, we will believe. If we believe, we will love. If we love, we will serve. Today we honor fathers. We are infinitely blessed by God the Father through his gift of his only son, Jesus Christ. We commemorate the sacrifice of our Lord in giving us his most holy body and blood. As he shares in our humanity through the Eucharist, we share in his divinity. That's why we should bring the same excitement and joy when, and if we worthily come without mortal sin to approach the Eucharist. Why would we ever want to refuse this heavenly gift? May all earthly fathers draw strength from their heavenly Father. On this Father's Day, let's pray our Father, pray the Our Father during this Holy Mass realizing the meaning of each phrase and experiencing the love of our Heavenly Father for us. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all the ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for us. Suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. We will come again and go to the judge of another day. And his kingdom will have our way. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection. Confident of the abiding presence of Christ, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Father. For the church throughout the world, may the Lord strengthen faithful communities united in love of God and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers, may they be blessed in their love and care for their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or in need, May the love of Christ comfort them and give them hope in the promise of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord. <clears throat> For our beloved dead, that seeing the face of God, they may live in everlasting joy with God in heaven, especially David O'Leary, Ronald Meisner, members of our Mass Intention Guild, and all the beloved deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Arthur Minogian, for whom our sanctuary candle is lit this week, we pray to the Lord. For those needs best spoken in the silence of our hearts. For those needs, we pray to the Lord. And for the people of St. Mary's, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, we bring our needs before you. We ask that you hear and answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 353, One Love Released, number 353. One bread, one body, one cup, one cold. Faith, one spirit, present in our soul. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace. One church, one people, one love released. Is not this bread we share the body of our Lord? Is not this wine we drink the blood of Christ our poor? One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in so one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love release. I am the bread of life, eat and you shall live. To share this meal, my strength I'll always be. One bread, one body, one cup, one call. One faith, one spirit, present in our soul. One prayer, one blessing. One hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love released.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so, we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly, heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song and adoration, and we, with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit gracious to make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is the body of my for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the blessed with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, and your servant, Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, you are to me, hallowed be thy name, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion hymn is number 349, The Supper of the Lord, number 349. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and Number 644, We Belong to You. Number 644. Long 
to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you, filled with gifts and filled with goodness, spirit breathing life into all who seek and find their purpose. We belong. Belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you when we share the bread you've broken with the many and the few. We are blessed and we are broken. We belong to you. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you. When we're called to share your word, Lord, in all we say and all we do, as our journey moves us onward, we belong to you. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We have some announcements. That second collection today was for promoting the gospel. This is the last week to order a brick from the Knights of Columbus for, for the Memorial Garden. Please call the rectory to register any incoming first graders for religious education. And of course, happy Father's Day. Um, for the final blessing, 
I will first do a blessing for all fathers, and then the final one was for everyone, okay? The Lord be with you. God our Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things bless. Bless these men that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord, amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Our recessional hymn is number 426, Canticle of the Sun, number 426. Father's Day. <laughs>